I'm standing here with Ken Lingenfelter, and he is the man that tunes pretty much every GM. Am I right? right. Yep. Everything. Yep. Uh, I have to tell you first, I actually was looking at a CTSV Lingenfelter the other day, and I was Very so good. close to picking it up. Yeah. Well, I hope you do that someday, because we, we tuned a lot of CTSVs, and they are an incredible product. It looked like too much fun, and they wanted like 20 for it, and I was just like... Maybe you better go back and buy that one. <laughs> it already sold. I was oh, so mad. Like well, the day after I saw it, I was just like, it's gone. And I'm like, I'll tell you what, better yet, why don't you buy one and send it over to us and then we'll just tune it for you. How's that? I'm an auto journalist. I don't have money. Uh, okay. Well, you'd be surprised. There are three stages we can build that car in. And a lot of customers that come to us for the first stage and then we upgrade to the second and the third. And uh, I mean, the V product is just incredible. It looks like it's going to be a blast. Yeah. It's, even the new one. Right. Have you guys started anything with the new one? Well, I know you have the Z06 right here, which has the same motor. So. Yeah, and that's what we're looking forward to. We know that it's going to have basically the same components, and we'll be able to pick up some horsepower. I mean, thank goodness there's always a little left on the table for us, and uh, and the V product was so good to us. Actually, you'd be surprised how many station wagons we did. You know, that doesn't seriously. surprise me. Yeah. There's a big fan base for station wagons. Well, it was uh, it was amazing how many of them came in, and you should have seen some of the drivers too. A lot of bald and gray guys like me. So uh, lots of fun though. Lots of horsepower. There you go. Oh, so let's talk about this one. Sure. This is your new C7 Stingray, just the regular Stingray. It's right. not even the Z06 that's right there. Right. Um, so what have you done with this? You know, this was really the first supercharged uh, C7 that I believe was on the road. Uh, we got an early car. We went to work on it right away. Uh, I was commenting earlier to somebody that, you know, we had uh, uh, learned about the LT1 engine that they put in the new Silverado, yeah. uh, 2014 Silverado, and so we bought a couple of those early on and started our engineering in an effort to get ready for the C7. Right. And so by the time we got our first C7, we had a lot of our engineering already all done. that uh, out of the way. Right. Obviously, there's some things that were different with a Corvette, and, you know, we got those uh, handled pretty quickly, but yeah. we built this car. Used to be black and uh, we took it on hot rod power tour uh, to put a bunch of miles yeah. on it and uh, had tremendous success with it makes a whole bunch of power uh, it's a lot of fun to drive and uh, gives it just the extra kick that maybe it needed so yeah I mean it's crazy that you could just you know put more and more horsepower into these cars into these GM products that's just that it just takes off now you could probably imagine my job is pretty fun I mean uh, the fun factor imagine. in this is pretty good and uh, we have a blast with these cars and we're drag racers and road racers and so as a result we get a chance to get them out there and really punish them and make sure they're doing what we think they should just making them fly there you go so yep. what do you do with the suspension or do you even touch the suspension we don't even touch the you suspension no you know we got a car early on as I said and we tracked it pretty quickly and you know the new C7 is one of those uh, cars that as a race car driver you like to turn off a lot of the controls and this one it's so good you really don't want to turn anything off I know so. I played with the C7 a little bit and I was just like oh damn this is really really good it's very good very very good they did their homework so. yeah mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see how they can actually one-up it. Yeah, well, the Z06 one-ups it. It uh, one-ups it, yeah. I haven't yeah. driven that yet. I'm, yeah. I'm eager to try that out. Have and you I tried got, the Z28 yet? Uh, you know, I have, and they're also a lot of fun. And we've got a couple packages, obviously, really? that we add some more horsepower to those, too. So Keep the NA or supercharged? Uh, supercharged, yeah. yeah. Does it keep the same type of power band? Just a little bit more torque on the bottom end? Or? Both, both sides. And, you know, really it depends on what somebody wants. They come to us and they let us know what they want to do. And, uh, and uh, you know, naturally aspirated cars are great. And some people like to supercharge them. And, uh, you know, the, Z the Z28. Supercharger wine. Yeah, I, I understand that. So am I. Uh, but, uh, you know, our customers really have got different needs. Some of them want to race. Some of them want to uh, drag race. Some of them want to go to car shows and open the hood and beat on their chest. So, you know, we want to be there for everybody. And uh, we try to get that done. So what's next in the Lingenfelter stable? Well, you know, the Besides Z06. The yeah, Z06. the Z06 is we, we've got our first, this is our first one, the blue one that's here, and it's our mule car. And uh, believe it or not, a week ago, it was all in pieces before we got it out here to the show. But, I actually uh, saw some of the pictures when you had it. Okay. Fired. It was good. Well, getting the blower on it, getting a larger blower on it, and, you know, doing some pulley work and uh, and making more horsepower is uh, is what we're going to do. And we'll have standard packages that will be available at different horsepower levels. And, and I'm sure there'll be customers that want 800, and there'll be customers want a nine, 900 in even more. So that's but insane. Th the thing that impresses me about the Z06 is it is just drop dead gorgeous. I mean, it's a work of art. It and uh, quite beautiful. And in addition to that, uh, 
the price is really, and bank for the buck is huge, just yeah. like it's always been with Corvette. Yeah, so, I, yeah, it's beating a lot of different things right now. It really is. So it looks like it's going to be fun. Well, we've got this blue one. I I love the car so much. I actually had one, bought one for myself. I got a white one with red interior, and I'm gonna wait till we get all the mods done, and then all make the sure RD we get all that. That's right. And, all the stuff and then we'll throw it on there, and I'll go have some fun with that car. So, what made you like get into cars? Like, what started you off? Yeah, I've been a car guy uh, ever since. Uh, well, I mean, my parents said as a kid I used to stand in the hump of the '55 Chevy and name all the cars that went by. But my dad was a uh, executive with General Motors, ran a Fisher Body plant in, okay. in uh, Ohio and uh, he used to take me back to work with him at the end of the day and yeah. we'd be sitting in the cars and doing the tests and things like that. The car that really hooked me was the 63 split window Corvette. Uh, I was 10 years old and uh, I, you know, I can see why. It, it's an amazing car. Uh, we've got a very large car collection up in Michigan and uh, its mission is charity fundraisers yeah. and it's about 30% muscle cars and about 30% exotics and the rest or Corvettes and some of our old race cars and I uh, went on a search to find the absolute best split window Corvette I could find and uh, it's one of the prize uh, prize possessions Can in I the ask collection. How much that set you back? Well, you know, it was about 125,000 to buy and then I actually went in and redid it and uh, okay. to make it even better. So, uh, you know, probably not a good idea to talk about how much money I spent. I think some people I mean, no, they, they know how no. passionate I am about this stuff, but some of them, I think, think I need psychiatric help. No, so. I think any car guy or car woman, you know, we have a sickness. Yeah, we, we do. We have a sickness that just, it just never ends. Sounds like I'm in good company here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I, uh, and you know, the car collection has worked out so well. As I said, the mission is charity work. We do yeah. charity fundraisers there. We've done everything from black tie events to uh, uh, yeah, pizza and beer with car clubs. Uh, but everything has got a charity component and uh, very uh, very good group of Ferraris. We've got uh, just added the new La Ferrari to the collection about a week and a half ago. Well, it'd be pretty good. I mean, I've sat in it, but up in Michigan yeah, it's right, a now, it's, right now, it's uh, I think I've got a couple months, so I'm going to be able to get it on the road. But uh, I've read a lot about it, and uh, it, it's an amazing look. Looking car, yeah. and it will attract a lot of a uh, lot of friends. So, oh, yeah. coming uh, to take a look and such. What do you think about the rumor that's going around that the C8 is going to be mid-engine? I know uh, it's been around for you know since the Corvette was you know. We've all been hearing about that for years, and and I got to believe there's something going on, especially now since there's a Ford GT. Well, did you see so, the mule a couple weeks back that had a little bit of like uh, in, and then for some reason the back end was mysteriously just blocked out. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, the General Motors has got a lot of things screwed down pretty tight with regard, and, and we don't have any inside information about anything. Really? Back in the day, we could, but uh, uh, but I hope they build it, and, uh, and I'm trusting they will, and uh, you can bet it's going to be part of our collection, and oh, yeah. we'll have a couple of them oh, to definitely. play with, so, but. All right, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Good. Have a good day. All right, thanks. Here with Garen Nikogosian, the designer of this beautiful, beautiful car, and uh, 